Hello, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how we use the STP Harness Smart Data Access to access the Microsoft 360 Server 2012, right? Um, in order to do that, we have to first install the Unix ODBC driver in the uh, operating system of the Harness. So in our case, we have two virtual machines. Uh, the first virtual machine is the Harness. It's based on the Linux, and the second one is the Windows Server, which is uh, running the uh, Microsoft Circuit Server 2012, right? And um, now we just log on to the uh, Harness Server uh, for quick loop. See, here is the uh, our Linux server. Uh, which is running the um, SCP Horner. Uh, so we can start the, uh, you know, the uh, terminal so that if you have to check if we have already installed the uh, Unix ODBC driver, uh, it's pretty easy to check. You just run this uh, um, command, SQL. i just put it like here. See, here is the uh, Unix ODBC driver version. Uh, I have installed it, you know, where the uh, this version and also if we go to this uh, directory of the ODBC driver we double click um, then you see here is the uh, uh, driver and the server name port and database we want access from the Unix to the Microsoft SQL Server all right um, it's, you know, it's nothing special, you know, we just follow the very straightforward way to do that. And if we have configured all of this successfully, so we can try run a uh, another command or SQL B, and then we just put the uh, uh, the data source name here as we define is MS SQL, right? Then put the uh, User and password, okay. I right, so log on field because uh, we need to use the uh, um, password. If you see this screen, that means uh, you have configured the uh, ODBC driver successfully and you are able to connect to the Microsoft SQL Server from your Linux system to the external Microsoft SQL Server server. All right, I'll just quit. Okay, now we can go back to the uh, SAP Horner Studio to access this uh, SQL Server from our Horner system, okay? We can go to here, the uh, provisioning, and you see there's a smart data access, right? And this is the remote source. We can create the remote source and define a new remote source, all right? So right, you can give the source name. Uh, for example, I just give it a Microsoft and EH. This is, you know, the uh, EH7 is one of my ERP system and the, the each seven is underlying database for that uh, uh, enhanced pack seven or ECC six. Okay, for the adapter name, we choose the Microsoft SQL Server, and we just put the data source name MS. This is source name is a data source name we find in this INR file. See here. Okay, and then we go to the username and the password. Uh, so then, after we we fill out all these bugs, so that we just simply click the deploy. So here, this is a connection to remote system established. If you see this uh, message, that means you have already 
configure this uh, remote data source successfully. And if you want test, you can simply click this button, the test connection. So here is the connection to remote system tablets. Okay, nothing special. And uh, then if we have this uh, remote data source defined, uh, we can expand and explore, explore all the tables under this remote data source. Um, you see here is uh, the different row. If I click the F7, um, you may need to wait a few you know, seconds to see the list of tables because we have a lots of table uh, uh, under the uh, ERP system so that we have to wait a few um, a moment, right? Uh, once you have uh, expanded the list of tables in the Microsoft SQL Server, um, we can just scroll down to the table. We are trying to um, create the uh, virtual table. Uh, in our case, we're going to use the uh, VBAP, uh, the sales or item table, right? So we can simply scroll down to the B. So this is the table we're going to use. Um, you can also search this table. Uh, if you find the table, you can right click and choose add as a virtual table, right? And then you can choose your schema. In our case, we're going to put this virtual table in uh, uh, the system schema. Just click create. And then, you know, we just uh, with a few seconds, then we can see this uh, uh, confirmation a message. The virtual table has been added to the schema system, all right? Now we can go to the uh, catalog. We go to the system. We, go, we can see this uh, virtual table we just added. And you can just uh, as operate this table as any table in this uh, schema, okay? You can right click and you can open the destination. So it's pretty same as the uh, uh, structure is of the, uh, in the ECC. And if we want to see the data, we can, you know, right click and open the uh, data content. So you can see this is the uh, first 1000 records, all right? And we can also go to this uh, Microsoft, the system we run this, you know, the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And we can run the same uh, uh, SQL script to work the data. So if we click this one, click new query. So I just copy this uh, script, but this time I would like to write in this uh, uh, SQL server. All right, um, just like uh, turn. So the table just turn this. All right, then we'll click wrong. Here you see the same data, but this one is from the uh, Microsoft SQL Server, you know, the uh, Studio directly. And this one actually we run this SQL script from HANA Studio, and, but the data is the same. They are both from the Microsoft SQL Server. So if we have added this virtual table, so we can use this virtual table for further you know, the uh, analysis, for example, we can create a can, uh, calculation view, and we can even consume this uh, virtual table in SDBW system uh, by using the open ODS view, okay? And that's all, thanks for watching.